All right, guys, welcome back to thewindowdog.com. Today we're going to talk about a very commonly told window salesman lie, and that has to do with the percentage of argon gas in a window. It's not at all uncommon for the high-priced window salesman to tell people that his windows contain more argon gas than another window. Now, there's three things I like about this lie. One is that it's not true at all. Two is that it's very easy to prove it's not true. And three is that it doesn't matter anyway. So we're going to get into all of that today, and then at the end, I'm going to tell you about another completely unrelated window salesman lie that I un, uh, unintentionally discovered proof of this morning while I was putting together graphics for this video. So I think you'll get a kick out of that. Let's get started. So for those of you who don't know me, my name is Dan Schweiss and my company is Window Universe. We offer windows all over the country. I also run a website called thewindowdog.com, which is the greatest source of replacement window information on the entire internet. If you have a project in mind, you should probably check out both of those things and you'll find links down below in the description. So today's video is about the percentage of argon gas in a window. When you're trying to, to decipher this claim and understand if this is something you should worry about, my advice is to first think about why would this matter to you? What matters to you is how energy efficient this window is, right? If one window is more efficient than another window, it might be worth a little bit more. And if it's less efficient, it might be worth a little bit less. So you're trying, as you're shopping for windows, trying to decide how much you should spend for different products, what represents a good value. And the efficiency of a window is a worthwhile factor to consider. Now you can see the efficiency very easily in the efficiency ratings. Every window will have an NFRC sticker on it, shows you the exact ratings for that window in that particular configuration. Now you won't be able to see the NFRC sticker until your windows arrive, but any salesman should be able to tell you what the ratings will be, and if you're not sure if you trust them, you could get them to write them in the contract to tell them that the sticker that shows up will match the ratings that they promised you ahead of time. If a salesman is hesitant or skeptical or, or unwilling to do that, you might know right off the bat that he's not very confident that his claims are going to come true. Now when you're, when you're evaluating these choices and, and comparing it to the percentage of argon gas in a window, you want to think about which rating would be impacted by adding more argon gas to a window. Now let's say this window was only half full of argon gas and it had a certain set of ratings. Then we filled it up the rest of the way. How would the ratings change? Well the common ratings are going to be the U-factor, solar heat gain, visible transmittance, and this one shows condensation resistance as well. Now we have an upcoming video, we're going to talk about how to understand all of these different ratings and how to navigate what makes one better or what's good enough for each one. That's a topic for another day. For today we're just thinking which, which rating would be affected by the addition of extra argon gas. Well it would not be the solar heat gain coefficient, that's telling you how much of the sun's direct heat is reflected back out. Argon gas doesn't do that. It would not be the visible transmittance because that's telling you how much light gets through the window and the argon gas is clear and colorless and odorless so it doesn't affect the visible transmittance. It would be the U-factor. So the U-factor is a measure of the overall efficiency of the window. How easy is it for energy to transfer through that window? A window that's more efficient will have a lower U-factor and a window that's less efficient will have a higher U-factor. So if this salesman is making a claim that his windows have more argon gas than another window, that would only be relevant to you if it lowered the U-factor, if the U-factor was then better than another product because of that. And quite frankly, it's probably not, but you can just look at it. You can just ask him, what is the U-factor of this window in this configuration? He ought to be able to tell you. You'd want to confirm that he's talking about the U-factor from the NFRC that will be on the sticker when you get the window, because salesmen will make all sorts of claims that don't come true in real life. And then you can compare that to other choices. For example, this window is a soft light window that we just happen to have sitting around. It has a U-factor on the NFRC sticker of 0.28. So that's typically what you'll find for double pane windows. They'll typically be in the range of 0.28 to about 0.30 on the high side. And um, even a little bit lower occasionally, you might find a 0.26, but you generally won't find anything outside of that range for, for double pane glass. Triple pane you might find in the 0.18 to uh, 0.22 or 23, something like that for a triple pane window. And you'll find most everything is gonna fall into that range. So in addition to publishing this rating information, the NFRC also publishes more particular information about how those ratings are achieved on their website. And that's where these salesmen really lose it. Because if you were to look up this particular window or any window on the NFRC site, you would see not only these ratings, but you would see the percentage of argon gas that's in that window. It's right there. So the salesman thinks he can get away with this lie because the argon gas is clear and colorless and odorless. 
and he thinks you'll never be able to know that he's uh, full of baloney, but really the information's public and you can just look it up. For example, let's look it up right now. Here are the ratings for this window, and you can see right here, as we scroll down, this soft light window, we scroll down over here and we look at the efficiency ratings, and we see the ratings that match the sticker, and then we can scroll over to the side and we see the argon gas and air percentages. So it's 90% argon gas and 10% air. Now we can look up any window out there. You can look up all the type companies that are typically sold by these pushy salesmen that get a little bit creative with the facts. And what you'll see in my experience is 90 and 10 for every one of them. You can also look up cheap windows that might cut corners. Some brands that you'd see at the box store or real cheapo things out there in the marketplace. And lo and behold, you see 90 and 10 for those as well. So what you see is every company typically offering the same argon gas fill percentage in their windows. Now the window salesman might say, okay, Mrs. Jones, the minimum is 90, but our company does more. We do 99.997, even though we only have to do 90 because we're so great. Well, unfortunately, that's not true either. You see, this business is pretty competitive, as you might be able to tell already. And if one company could do something that would give them a lower U factor than another company, they would do it. It would lead to more sales. It would, on a manufacturing level, it would lead to hundreds of thousands of dollars a year or more in additional revenue if they had better ratings than their competitors. So if there was anything they could do to achieve that, they most certainly would but they can't, so they don't. So the ratings are what they are, and if they tell you the ratings are in fact better than what's shown on the sticker, I would completely not believe anything else that that guy has told you. Kind of as a related story, when you see the EPA fuel economy ratings on the side of a new car, those are ratings that are set by the government that the window salespeople or manufacturers are not allowed to dispute. They have to honor those ratings, even if they think it's not true. So the, window, or the car salesman, I should say, can't say, oh yeah, the sticker says, 35 miles per gallon, but it actually gets better than that, Mrs. Jones. It actually gets 40 miles per gallon. It's just the sticker that says that. That's against the rules for a car salesman to make a claim like that, but window salesmen, they're in your house one-on-one. -on -one. Nobody else can see or hear what they're saying, so they can make all sorts of claims that make no sense. And that's really what you need to watch out for when you're shopping for windows. These guys are good. It's easy for you to, to find a window salesman that seems shady or slippery or, or not very trustworthy, and then you find me online and you think, aha, I knew that guy was full of it. I knew I didn't need to believe him. And you cross him off your list. The challenge is that a lot of these guys seem really believable, really trustworthy and honest. And they looked you in the eye and they gave you a firm handshake. And they're going to do a great job on your house, Mrs. Jones, and treat it like, just like it was their own. And on and on and on. When really they're telling you these same stories. Now, sometimes these guys might believe it. And uh, they don't know how much argon gas is in the window. They just know what their boss told them, and that's what they're repeating and telling you. And that might be why they seem so trustworthy. So we know that we get a lot of uh, industry folks on the website. We have a lot of window salesmen that watch our videos and read our blogs, and a lot of window company owners. So if you think I'm wrong, if you think a product that you sell or offer has more argon gas than another, I would love to hear from you. Post a comment either here on the YouTube or on the website, and tell us what product it is. I'll look it up and I'll show you. And if I'm wrong, I will make a whole video about how I was wrong and you were right. I would love the opportunity to do that. So post a comment if you think I'm wrong about that. You can also post it anonymously if you don't want your boss or anybody to know that you are questioning these claims and we'll be happy to, uh, to investigate. So, so that's our video today, folks. The claim about percentage of argon gas, completely not true, can be verified online, but can also just be verified by looking at the efficiency ratings. Either they're better or they're not better, and no story about the gas or anything else is really relevant in that pursuit. So if you'd like to get a quote from your project, my company offers windows all over the country. We can give you a free and easy online quote in most markets. It's the easiest thing in the world and you'll probably get a kick out of it. So you can find a link to do that in the description down below. If we do not offer service in your area, the odds are that we may know another company to recommend and you'll find that information as well. We do have some really neat upcoming videos. We're working on one right now about home improvement financing, sort of the behind the scenes of these 0% for 48 months kind of claims, how that really affects uh, your window purchase and how you might be able to get a worthwhile cash discount instead. So that's coming up. And before we wrap this up today, I was going to tell you a story about a funny window company lie that I discovered this morning. And it has to do with a company in the Northeast called Castle Windows. I ran into one of their reps at a home and garden show a couple of months ago, and he was telling me that they make their own windows. Now, he knew I was in the window business. He knows 
I would think he knows I'm not going to believe that, but that's what he kept telling me. And I said, you know, come on, I'm in this industry. What windows are you guys selling? Like, obviously you don't make your own windows. And he said, oh no, no, we make all of our own windows made by us. Just super special. Nobody else offers windows we make. They're completely made by our factory. And I said, you're telling me you have a factory with employees and semi trucks and, and you're making windows somewhere. And he says, oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Now he may have just been one rogue employee. I don't know that this company trains their people to tell that story. Hopefully they don't, but that's the story this guy was telling me and anyone who would listen at this home and garden show. So I looked it up afterwards um, while I was sitting there. I didn't know anybody who, uh, who knew what products these guys sold. I didn't really care that much, so I spent about five minutes on it and moved on. One easy way to tell that they're not telling the truth is if you look at their website, there's no mention of we make our own windows. There's no pictures of a window factory or semi-trucks rolling out or piles of inventory or, or dozens of employees, things you would find at a window factory. Now, as a business owner, if I owned some big window plant somewhere, you can bet I would brag about that uh, till the end of time. I'd be telling anybody who would listen about this cool window factory we own. Well, they don't do any of that, of course, because it's not true. Well, today I was putting together the graphics for the soft light window on the, and I was looking at the NFRC website. And if you pull up the soft light section of the NFRC website, you'll see uh, under the double hung models that they list, one of them is called Castle Windows. So they obviously are making the windows for Castle Windows under a private label program, and uh, and that was proof of that right there. Now that's not particularly good or bad. Softlight makes windows that are perfectly nice products, and Castle Windows must sell and install them because Softlight lists them there on the NFRC page. So I don't know why they would go around telling people that they make their own windows. Frankly, a lot of these small time companies that do make their own windows tend to be some of the least competitive companies in the market. So I don't know why a company that does not fall into that camp would pretend to be in that camp. But that's at least what this one rep was going around uh, that whole home show telling folks. So anyway, a funny little story that I discovered the, uh, the answer to just this morning. So make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on our new and upcoming videos. You can also hit the thumbs up button. Helps us a lot. Helps to show the videos to other folks on YouTube, and we would certainly appreciate that. And we will see you guys next time.